In this video, I am going to explain very important part about the chemical properties of halo alkanes and halo arenes. So, first is nucleophilic subducer reactions and so in our halo alkanes, they are polar in nature. So, they are attacked by nucleophiles, as you know this. And so, any halo alkane, you know, it is attacked by nucleophile like. NaOH and so NaOH gives this and this OH it attacks here and this carbon has delta positive charge this has delta negative charge so this is nucleophilic substitution reaction so this is the file it can be NaOH it can be you know KOH or it can be nitride cyanide isocyanide are formed so depending on this so there will be CS3. Well, similarly, in place of this, there can be act of, you know, nitrite. Similarly, there can be cyanide. And so, uh, with the NO2, there will be RNO2, alkyl nitrite. Then, same, then there will be formation of RCN. If you take AGCN, then there will be R. And see here it is casein, so uh, this is there. Now, other is elimination reaction. Elimination reaction. Elimination means eliminate to remove some molecules, remove some species. Elimination reaction or dehydro. Dehydro. Halogenation reaction. D means no, hydro means hydrogen, halogen, you know, halogen. So D means no, hydro and halogenation reaction. So three terms. When any halogen, any halogen, take the case of CTS5 BR, any halogen, it is heated in presence of alcoholic KOH or ethanolic. Here there is ethanol and on heating there is solution of there is solution of corresponding alkene plus there is solution of ABR plus there is solution of S2. So corresponding alkenes are obtained. Corresponding alkenes are obtained and this is called as dehydrohalogenation reaction. And the dehydrohalogenous reactions are different. Can we take, you know, higher this alkane? See how. Can we take bigger halogen? Here, two bromopentane, it can be any other can be taken. So, same connection, there is the formation of here this. No, one, two, three, four, five. So it will be ten to in and it will be ten one in or simply ten in. So it is because of the presence of large number of you know alpha hydrogen atoms on this. And you know this via this carbon is said to be you know, alpha and here uh, this carbon is said to be beta, this is said to be the gamma. So it has large number of beta hydrogen atoms. I know beta hydrogen atoms are acidic in nature. Any hydrogen is acidic in nature and so as a result this will be attracted by the QH and as a result this will be taken. And so this will be the uh, removed, and so as a result, this will be the major product, pain to your major product. And so uh, this is about the dehydrohalogenation reaction. Now coming to a uh, third reaction with metals. You know, this is very important reaction. When any haloalkane is treated with any Reactive metal like aluminium, magnesium. There is formation of very important 
organometallic compound called as Grignard reagent. So here, if I write, this is ethyl bromide. I pick them bromo then here magnesium powder and here we take the dry ether on second the mixer there is mention of C2H5MgBr this is organometallic compound this is ethyl magnesium bromide you know RMGX is the general formula this is the general formula and it is called as better Grignard Grignard's reagent you know, this was invented by a scientist Victor Grignard and Grignard reagents are versatile compounds and they are so reactive that they can even react with the moisture also. So if uh, it is treated with moisture or say preferably water, there is moisture of C2S6. You can imagine, they are so important, they are so versatile that uh, Victor Grignard was honored Nobel Prize for this discovery and so this is about the reaction with metals. Now other reaction of metal is, it is very important, it is called as Oort's reaction. Oort's reaction, when two moles of any halogen, let take the case of CH3-VR, two moles and sodium metals. Again, in presence of dry ether, so there is simple addition. We have two, and we have the CS3, CS3, and plus two and then we have. So this is, you know, ethane, and such reactions are called as ascending of series. This is called as ascending, ascending of series or ascending of order. If you take here 2 moles, it will be 4 moles, 3 moles, 6 moles. But when we take 2 different, you know, halogens, means number of carbon groups are different, then there will be formation of the mixture of the compounds. There will be formation of mixture of the compounds containing both the alkyl group. So this is about the reaction with metals. Now moving forward about the chemical properties of halogens. So you know halogens they are quite stable towards the nucleophilic substitution reaction. So halogens are very much stable towards nucleophilic towards nucleophilic substitution reactions and it will lead to different regions and as a result halogens undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions under drastic conditions only because they are highly stabilized by different factors. So, halogens are highly stabilized, highly stabilized by different factors. They are stabilized by different factors and the first factor is the, you know, resonance. Resonance stabilization of phenyl 
ring. Now, the another ring is a stabilized by resonance, and as a result, the nuclear file cannot attack easily. Now, here I have drawn the resonance structures for the extra stability of the this anomaly. So, here this is the first resonance structure, and so see in the Around the carbon, there are the six electrons. Here, seven electrons between this carbon and this. And in order to have the resonance stabilized, so we have to shift one electron from this to between to this carbon and this chlorine. As a result, here the electrons will have to be shifted. So, in next, here there will be the double bond. And as the electron density decreases, so here it will acquire positive charge. And this electron pair will shift between this. And this carbon and this will move. Simply we have to move forward, children, nothing else. Now, this is the second structure. Now, this is the third structure. As it has shifted from this to this, and it is there, and now it will again move forward, and here we have to move forward for the fourth one. So, in the fourth one, this negative charge has, has between this uh, four and five. And so it will be double bonded, and it is it will shift in between five and six carbon, and so ultimately it will be shifted to the chlorine, and so this will be the fifth. Now, out of these five resonance structures, what is common? One and five are same. See carefully, one and five they are same, and this. Second to four have positive charge, positive charge on halogen, positive charge on halogen. So how a nucleophile can attack? There is no appreciable negative charge present over the halogen. So this is the reason that halogens. They do not undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions easily, and so there are some other points also. See now, now other point is the difference in hybridization. In case of halogens, the carbon, carbon, you know, this carbon bearing the halogen, this carbon is sp three hybridized, and here s character is twenty five percent. Here s is equal to twenty five percent. And P is equal to 75 percent character. But about this, you know, arenes here, this arenes they have, you know, if you draw here, so here this carbon, you know, it is sp2 hybridized. It is sp2 hybridized, and so S has 33.33 percent, and P has 66.33 you know, 6, 4 percent. So what will happen? You know, S orbitals, they are more closer toward the nucleus. And as a result, here, the S character is 33.33 percent. Here, S character is, you know, 25 percent. So it is around 8 percent uh, less in case of this. So here, this bond is weaker. This bond is weaker. And here, this bond is Stronger. So as a result, you know, this halide is bonded very strongly. Next point is stability. Stability of phenyl cation. Phenyl cation is stable than that of the cation formed by the halokene, and as a result, it cannot uh, take part easily. Other point is the repulsion. Repulsion between phenyl ring and you know halide ion. So due to repulsion, uh, they cannot undergo nucleophilic substitution reactions very easily. So nucleophilic substitution reactions take place under drastic conditions. See how. So you know. 
helvarins are highly stable toward the nucleophilic substance reaction so they undergo the nucleophilic substance reactions under drastic conditions means high temperature presence of high pressure presence of some acid etc like this this is the first condition when we take chlorobenzene in presence of you know nmh strong nmh solid nmh with heat to very high temperature 623 kelvin and very high pressure also in the atmosphere the pressure is very high and as a result we are able to form the you know initially there is formation of you know when we take this so there is formation of oil first oil sodium peroxide and this sodium peroxide it is further hydrolyzed by this to form a uh, phenol so this is the salt pit. here this is the explanation in this there is solution of sodium peroxide and then sodium peroxide by the hydrolysis this is the hydrolysis acidic hydrolysis and they form the phenol so very high pressure very high temperature so this is there now this is the second part when we take the same but here there is the no2 this is no2 is you know it is electron withdrawing group it electron are withdrawn because it is electron deficient so it withdraw the electron so this bond becomes slightly weaker and as a result here you know the temperature is reduced to 443 kelvin and here nmh and same so effect of one electron withdrawing group and there is much of the same that it will be the same here now when the two with electron withdrawing groups are present two are electron withdrawing groups so as a result what will happen the temperature is reduced to very much 368 kelvin temperature is required 368 kelvin temperature so you can imagine the degree of easiness the as the two electron withdrawing groups are present directions becomes very easy now when the three three electron withdrawing groups so it is 246 tri nitro tri chloro benzene so just this is having the three electron withdrawing groups and you know they withdraw the electrons and as a result the electron density becomes very weak and this bond becomes very weak and cl is lost very easily how just by taking warm water and so this is there that the degree of reactivity becomes very you know easy and so there is also of 246 tri nitro phenol this is you know this is phenol this is One two three. This is uh, four nitro. You know, this is two four di nitro. You know. So this is about the nucleophilic substitution reactions, and so as the electron withdrawing groups are present, in succession the reactions becomes easy.